Hey guys, so uh, I've been working on a redesign of the uh, open lock dungeon tile locking standard and um, I think I've made enough improvements here to justify calling it its own thing but it is 100% open lock compatible um, and I haven't come up with a name yet so uh, that'll have to wait uh, at least at the time of this video. But anyway, I thought I'd just show you how it works first, and then we'll talk about the details of what I've improved and changed, and uh, what this means for new dungeon tiles. So, um, I mean, they're magnetic tiles. You can see the magnetic balls in them. Um, and they, they work like magnetic tiles. They you know, fit in all the same ways that uh, you fit most open lock tiles together. Um, but you'll notice it does appear to have uh, the open lock slots for uh, fitting the clips. So I'll zoom in here and demonstrate that. So while we still have the magnets in there, I've actually made a redesigned clip that is, uh, like I said, 100% open lock compatible and it fits right in there without moving that magnet. So you can have that magnet in there and uh, still use open lock clips. And uh, that has a number of benefits. You can have uh, two tiles that are made to stay together and they, uh, they won't shift and, and fall over or anything like that. You can move them around as one piece. And uh, you have other tiles which just magnetically clip onto those. And, uh, of course, there are smaller tiles. I have this 2x1 here. I have a 1x1. One one. Uh, this scales to any size tile, really. Um, I haven't made any curved tiles or walls or anything like that yet, uh, but that's totally possible with this design. Um, so, yeah, let's get more into the details of how these are easier to produce and uh, they print faster than the uh, open lock counterpart. So let me show you that. I have one right here that um, is basically right off the printer. I played with it a little bit uh, and removed a couple supports, but otherwise it's exactly how it would come off the printer. Uh, you see, like open lock, it's got supports in the very front that you need to break out, but you'll notice there's less of them. There's only one per slot. And uh, I've made them in such a way that they can be broken just by inserting an open lock clip or uh, my own clip that allows the magnets. Um, so see they, they break out pretty easily, but you don't even need the clip actually. You could just use your thumb, uh, thumbnail, and just pop them off. It's really, really that easy for the most part. Sometimes they get stuck in there, but just knock them out with the clip. Um, but most of the time, you could just hit them with your thumbnail, and uh, you know if you get in the flow of it, you can knock them out pretty quick. So you got most of them out there. And some stragglers staying inside, but they come off pretty easy by hand, which is mainly what I wanted to accomplish here. Oh, I missed one. There we go. And uh, in the future, maybe um, I'll make it so that the magnets break them off as well. And uh, well, that brings me to the next thing. Inserting the magnets is extremely easy. So I got um, some 5mm ball magnets here. You can get these uh, pretty easily uh, on Amazon or, or any... Some toy stores have them. Um, Bucky Balls were the original popular name for them, but they have a ton of knockoff ones now, so they're pretty relatively cheap. Um, I got a set of 200 for, I think, $13. You could probably get them a better deal in bulk. Um, so anyway, just take a string like this and pop it in like that. You hear that click. Next. Spin it around. Next. And it didn't take a whole lot of practice doing this. It's not like a I'm extremely skilled at it. Um, I'm doing it pretty much as fast as I did the first time around using these. And 
it's really just that quick to have all the, the magnets inserted and it's ready to go. Um, I'll, uh, I'll do another one real quick to show you another way of doing it. These are a little hard to uh, pull apart here. There we go. I got another string of them here. I'll do another one. You can load them from the front as well. It doesn't go quite as smoothly. It's not made for that, but you can if you really needed to. Um, if this was in a wall, uh, for example, or, or some other geometry where the back was not accessible, it's totally possible to insert them from the front. I'm going to do the back again because that's just the easiest way. And in just a few seconds, I have another one ready to go. Um, now, obviously, these are just the bases. Uh, the goal is um, to print any design like this one. This was made by the Rooster on uh, Thingiverse. Uh, it's just a stone tile design. And uh, what I did was in the slicer, I just uh, had it cut off the bottom and um, just print the actual tile part. Um, I'll probably make a tutorial video on that as well. But uh, anyway, you just glue these on um, to the top here, and in that way you can easily print uh, these bases at very low quality and uh, the, the decoration at a higher quality. I know some slicers can do that, but um, I think it's just easier to take someone else's design uh, and put it on these new bases in that way. So I think that's the way to go. I'll probably make a design uh, with, a, you know, a solid body that you can, um, you know, print it all in one piece with. But uh, as for now, I'm just going to do these hollow ones. Um, and uh, yeah, so you can turn these out pretty quick. I only had two um, just uh, a couple hours ago and um, some you know, printing and inserting the balls later, and I, I have a, a ton now. Um, but yeah, again, you can use the, the clips as well as the magnets, and um, they work together quite nicely. This isn't possible with the standard open ha um, the open lock clips. Um, they had to be opened up and, and simplified a little bit to uh, allow the magnets to stay in place. So, yeah, it's it's not really something that you might need, but it allows you to have magnetic bases and clip bases all in the same package here uh, at really no cost. It's only only benefits. They're easier to uh, to to prepare after they're printed. Um, and they can they could be reused. Uh, let's say uh, you want to replace the decoration. Yeah, I don't want that anymore. I can take that off and just reprint the decoration and keep this. Uh, these print. I print sort of fast, but at a um, 0.3 millimeter layer height, they print in about less than 15 minutes each. And uh, compared to the standard open lock design, um, which prints uh, a little pillar in the middle and, and the whole top flat, uh, it, it takes uh, quite a bit more. I don't know exactly off the top of my head. I want to say 25 minutes, maybe. It, it does add a, a quite a bit of time, surprisingly. So I think um, this is just the way to go for any new tiles you guys are printing. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. and. Uh, I hope uh, I'll have a name for it soon. <laughs> Thanks.